Have you ever wondered which watch is the best investment? Grand Seiko is a name that often comes up in these conversations, and people often ask if it's good as Rolex. But I'm not here to give you a simple yes or no answer. Instead, I'm going to show you 5 Grand Seiko watches that might make you think twice about buying a Rolex. It all started in 2010 when Grand Seiko rolled out their Snowflake watch. With a lightweight titanium case and spring drive movement, it was like Toyota introducing Lexus with a carbon hatchback powered by a jet engine. Over a decade later, Grand Seiko was still making waves with their Snowscape SLGH-013 watch. Inspired by the same icy cold design as the original Snowflake, the Snowscape SLGH-013 takes everything to the next level. The 40mm stainless steel case is a bit more conservative than the long-lugged 41mm titanium drop of the original Snowflake, but the dial is where this watch shines. It has more depth and detail and looks like it's been left in the freezer overnight. Now, where the magic of Grand Seiko's silk glove hits you is in the two lines of the text at the bottom of the dial. High beat 36,080 hours. But the Grand Seiko dial isn't a one-trick pony. It's not always snowy mountains and icy landscapes. Sometimes, just sometimes, the artisans in the Grand Seiko studio take a break from the breathtaking Japanese landscapes and come up with something different. For the 20th anniversary of SBG M235, the theme was more self-reflective. Grand Seiko was celebrating 20 years since they decided that the world outside Japan was ready to embrace a luxury watch made as far from Switzerland as possible. So the focus was very much on those two gothic letters. G and S. When it comes to Grand Seiko watches, perfection is the norm. The dial furniture, including the hands and markers, are so precise and flawlessly crafted that they seem to come from another world. The limited edition SBGM-235 takes it to another level. The dial, a tribute to Grand Seiko's 20th anniversary, is a work of art. Instead of showcasing the natural world, the designers feature the Grand Seiko logo with a tesseract design that flashes every hour. It's a beautiful, intricate display that looks like a Mayan artifact, an enigmatic clue to the watch's hidden treasure. When we think about value in the watch industry, we often think about how cheaply we can get a watch without compromising quality. However, Grand Seiko's Omiwatari SBGY 007 can still be considered a good value, even at a higher price point. Despite its cost of almost £8,000, the watch offers a great deal of value when you consider what you get for the price. If you've made it this far, then you must be enjoying the conversation about Grand Seiko watches. But wait, there's more! We've got some exciting timepieces to discuss in the second half of this video, so don't go anywhere! And for those of you who have a favorite Grand Seiko watch or think they're all overpriced Seikos, I want to hear from you. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. So let's continue this journey together and discover more about Grand Seiko's exquisite collection of watches. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the latest in luxury timepieces. You rarely get to talk about value in the luxury watch sector but the Omiwatari is championing this dying art. For those looking for a back-to-basics watch that harks back to the early days of the wristwatch, ornate dials and spring drive movements might be too much. That's where the Grand Seiko SBGW231 comes in. It offers a no-frills experience that delivers so much more. When we think of pure watchmaking experiences, we usually think of brands like Patek Philippe, Vacher and Constantine, Alanga and Zine. But those watches come with a hefty price tag. It's funny how paired back watchmaking costs so much, and I think I have a theory for that. Those watches are best appreciated with time. Time to hand wind the manual movements, sit and study the immaculate details, and earn the money they cost. 
For most people, time is a precious commodity, and they don't want to spend it fuzzing with watches. That's why most watches at the lower end offer convenience, like automatic winding, date display, and ease of use. But Grand Seiko is challenging this trend with the SPGW231, which offers an alternative to the Patek Philippe Calatrava experience at a fraction of the price. The watch is small and discreet at 37.3 mm, with a plain off-white dial featuring double stack markers. The crown is sizable, let you know that this watch isn't going to wind itself. It would be best if you took the time to hand wind it every three days. Let's talk about what happens when Grand Seiko throws the budget out the window and creates the ultimate watch. The result is the masterpiece SBGD-001. This watch is truly beautiful, with a chunky platinum case worth every penny. The dial is inspired by the snow that settles in the silver region on a winter morning, and Grand Seiko spared no expense in using actual diamonds to achieve that diamond-like sparkle. At 52,500 pounds, this watch proudly bears the Spring Drive badge, a symbol of top-notch technology. Flip the watch over and you'll see the Caliber 9R01, produced by Grand Seiko's Micro Artist Studio. This movement features deep reflections and broad beveling that are some of the best in the watchmaking world. The power reserve lasts up to 8 days, indicated by the scone up to power reserve drawing all that power through the spinning glide wheel that sits up top, peaking like the sun over an angular representation of Mount Fuji. You know you're getting the best when Grand Seiko goes all out like this. Grand Seiko never fails to incorporate nature-inspired elements in their watches. The 9R01 movement may be slightly different, but it boasts exceptional finishing and craftsmanship that reflects the brand's reserved approach to luxury. Grand Seiko's watchmaking expertise is undeniable. But what's your opinion? Do you have a favorite piece? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more watch related content. Thanks for watching. This has been Megan, and see you in the next one. If you want to know more about underrated watch brands, check it out in this video.